Batman Rise of Sinzu is a game featuring the Black Knight. The Batty I are fighting, beating up horrors. You know why it's tough? We just call Ubisoft to aim for more harder platforms. And enemies that will throw a punch and uh, unfair to your purgent face. I'm wild, I'm furious, even still, for even to complete the game. The game is challenging, a brawny fire for solid 2D hardcore gamers. Batman is solving mysteries again, but there's a new villain in town. Even though Scarecrow, Bane, and others such as Clayface shows up. Batman is going to show his fierce fighting skills to the unknown test. The music is pumping. It's all right for a Batman soundtrack. The first track's my fave. The rest are all right, like I said. The gameplay is innovative and suck with the hard risk of double damaging to your old school video game hearts. Me and the controls are epic. Just right to feel comfortable in your portable hands. The weapons aren't that many. It's mainly you Batman fighting the fuckers and flying on top of platforms. Like I said, Double Dragon meets Mario. Some boss had tricky settings and boot boss movements to make you wonder what the hell you're supposed to do to defeat this clay master. They have platform which means if you fall, you're gonna have to get back up in the acid tank or something I call water. You're doomed, you lost your life. It's game over for you, so that means you have to start the whole level again. I know it sucks, but it's a tough choice to ride around and fall like a cluster storm raining a thunderbolt across my cock. This is a great game for the works. It's not bad for a Batman title as a video game clockwork project from Ubisoft, so yes, I would recommend it to you if you're a Batman Legendary fan or a mild smoker on games. This will put you to the test of making your hand hurt at the end. Trust me, I just beat this sucker, and I'm just glad it's over. 8.5 slash 10. Not bad. It's an average GBA game, and it's a critic like what Batman is going for. That is all.